<laughs> Come on up. Um, what was I saying? I'll let her talk. I'm dead. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hi. Where's the video? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, there's the video. Hold on. Let me let me hear it. I mean, you know what? I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I enjoy social media. Okay. So I, I enjoy all the commentary, all the good, all the bad. It is what it is, you know? Yeah. yeah. And again, there were six hours of filming. We know that we only saw a snippet of it. Yeah. I personally, I was like, we all need a friend like Marissa. Like she's like really riding for her girl. But I guess people in the comments feel like you should have had that smoke for Ramses. Did did you have that smoke for Ramses and we missed it? Or I think there's just no smoke to be had. Like no. me and Ramses have had it's been a year and people forget that. And like what I don't really like hate Ramses enough to come out and be like, oh yeah, fuck you, dude. Like it's yeah. just what it was like he didn't have much to say as you guys could tell he doesn't speak so what am i supposed to say like just start attacking the man like he's already down bad crying up the jam like i don't i don't like need to add to that at that point so what was i gonna say to him like everything that i've already said like i hated the way that we broke up you know like right. Just, right. And, and i i caught the dig where you were like and i was making this man <laughs> I caught the dig. I, you know what the thing is is like I I think in my opinion and like people have their opinions and so be it and honestly I enjoy the discourse. I enjoy it. But Hannah at the end of the day, I only defend her where she, where Nick is lying. And that's just the facts. Right. That's right. just the facts. If Nick is lying, I'm going to call him out for lying. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything just because Hannah verbally abused this man. She's wrong for the way she talked to that man. Right. But so also, Nick question. is going to sit there and lie in front of me, in front of all of us, when he knows the truth. I'm like, fuck no. Yeah, he he blatantly said, I I didn't say anything about Hannah's looks, and then uh, went to like, oh, I did say that they were, oh, shit, that they were underwhelming. Damage, but he still denied the grenade comment and the. He denied the grenade comment, the five five out of ten, all the all yeah. the other stuff he was talking about off camera that happened. He denies it all and that's right. where i start to lose my shit because it's like i don't really want to sit up here and be like hannah was right hannah was right i'm not saying all that all i'm saying is you're wrong nick that's it yeah so my question is so the whole thing about the grenades and whatnot when timeline wise when was that mexico okay it's so very early on and it's just hurtful it's not like it, it, it Nick is not the Antichrist. Nick is not like a horrible person. Like I actually really like him, like especially through the show, like getting to know him. But I do not like when people are lying. And so there's a couple of truths there. Like Hannah was who she was and that's bad. And I didn't like that either. But I also don't like when someone lies and then everyone just sits there silently letting someone lie. It's like, just be freaking honest. Like yeah. be honest. Yeah. So uh, follow up question. Um, after he said that in Mexico, was she made aware of that comment in Mexico? Dude, I don't remember when she was made aware of it, to be honest. I can't remember. I know how I was made aware of it. I know that everyone else was made aware of it. Yeah. I don't remember when I, I believe I'm the one who told her about it. Like I, I can't remember when I did it. Um, but at the so, end of the day, yeah. Because the reason I'm asking is obviously at, at some point everybody was on Nick, right? And let me just say I'm not 100% with Nick. Nick has his own faults and stuff like that. We Somebody all mentioned we Nick all have here. our own faults. So, like but my thing was at one point everyone was like, everybody knows you said this thing about Hannah. So my qu my thing is if everybody knew it, how did Hannah not know and or if Hannah did know, why did she stay with this man? That's, have, what, that's what I'm to trying ask, to figure out. You have to ask Hannah, but I think there's a lot of stuff that happens off camera. And like, you do try, like you're trying to make things work with people. Right. And like, I think at the end of the day, like that's will be Hannah for her to discuss why she stayed with him at that point. But like, 
why did he stay with her as well? Like, you know, like, why did they stay with him? It's a double, for me, it's a double-edged sword because I think, right, I think the whole season, I'm like, there's something off about Nick. Like, I don't entirely believe him. He's fucking fake. Like, you know what I mean? Hannah was at least up front with the fact that she wasn't pleased by his looks. Like, she said it, right? Like, she said it on camera. And it seemed like both of them, it's like, the whole like famous comment whatever it's like it seemed like both of them were kind of like if if you knew i didn't fuck with you and you knew i wasn't attracted to you like we both are kind of staying with each other for the airtime which that's fine right but for from i i feel like like you said it doesn't excuse hannah's behavior and i think that nick was shitty in his own way but hannah was like overly shitty so it it outweighed like nick's yeah. shittiness mm-hmm. like that he yeah. was able to like pass by with like flying colors you know of course but people forget it's not always like people are not just like black and white like there's so much nuance and it's like hannah has like yes what she did to nick uh, overshadows everything nick has ever said absolutely but it's not that it's just like oh there's one truth and that's it it's like there are multiple things going on and like at the end of the day nick was respectful on camera and he was not horrible on camera and that's just the fact that's what you guys get to see and that's what you guys i've heard that from multiple people that nick was acting entirely different off camera that he was painting a certain narrative on camera and off camera he was like a completely different person i did hear that from multiple people from from your understanding did nick and hannah ever have a conversation on camera about her looks or about him being underwhelmed with her looks or it she never confronted him ultimately we like everyone's there's it's very weird to see somebody after talking to them for weeks so right like i don't really recall exactly a moment where they talked about the looks because like everything most of the conversations you see like we are having on camera like me and hannah are not having like a lot of secret conversations off camera um Mm -hmm. but I think ultimately they both were just trying to make it work. Mm-hmm. And I I mean, if I were Nick, I would have left the way that she was talking to like the way she was yeah. talking to him, I would have I would have I would have left. Um but he stayed for his reasons, she stayed for his reasons, I don't know. But at the end of the day, like I just think it's crazy that like there always has to be like one person who's just like the best person. They like, everyone has to like rise up for this one person and not realize like everyone's fault faulted like has faults and no one's defending hannah and how she speaks to him like nobody on that stage ever says that but people on that stage are saying hey nick stop pretending like you were this this perfect person you also were not a nice person and i think that's just where it that's where i struggle the most is like i was close friends with hannah i also knew nick because i did him Right. I knew that he's not this horrible person. I didn't know all the stuff that was going on, like how she was talking to him until I saw it. But when I saw it, I was disgusted by it as well. Right. Um, right. But I also didn't <laughs> love him lying. Like, just don't fucking lie and I'd leave you alone. Just don't right. lie. Right. Right. Okay. Well, people in the comments are like, they don't care about Nick and Hannah and Hart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, they don't care. Yeah, I mean, like, but I know that that, you guys, if you, you, people who are just jumping in, Marissa hopped on because we were literally discussing, like, people having smoke for her for yeah. defending Hannah so rough. Me and Marissa are set to have, like, our own live. This was not it. <laughs> this is just <laughs> impromptu. No, so I had a, I had a few drinks. I said, I'm going to hop on a live. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna ask you one question. You might be able to answer it, you might not. I was told by Lil Birdie, because I have Lil Birdie's other one. Bone collector. Like, and they were at the reunion. And so I knew what was gonna happen before anything happened. Were you guys, because I was told that the cast was told not to touch the Tyler situation, not to bring it up, not to mention it. Not we were to never told it. that. Okay. We were de- I was, I was never told to not touch the Tyler. I just went touch it because not, I was not involved. Like if you notice, I only talk in situations where I have direct knowledge about, or I was involved in, in some way, like either Nick or Hannah or Ramses, whoever came to me and talked to me about that exact situation. 
I was not involved in the Tyler and Ashley. I have nothing to say on that one. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you guys were not told to to, to tread lightly. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, were, we were never, the producers, people always like, oh, producers are telling us this and that. I'm going to tell you right now from my experience, the producers never told me to say or not say anything in any aspect and any storyline about my experience. Absolutely nothing. Like, and I'm not, you could like, whatever people could say, I'm a plant, whatever. It never, this is, wasn't the case for my experience. Now other people, they can have a different experience. That was not mine. Okay. I think they just knew I would say what I wanted to say. Did you and Ramses try dating at all after you guys ended your engagement? No. No. He didn't didn't want to. to. He didn't want to. He did not want to. And I'm, I'm glad for it. Right. Like that was not my person. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys don't communicate at all anymore. No, we communicate. Yeah. We, we don't, not, not often. We're friendly. We're friendly. Yeah. Okay. We've worked okay. through all that other stuff and it, it like people, I know it's the first time for everyone seeing it, but again, this happened a year ago and I'm not the one to like hold on to a whole bunch of hate. Like that's just not, I move on and I don't hate that person. You just move on. Like what's the point of me holding on, you know? Right. Right. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, I do want to like save like majority of my questions for when we do our live because I want to get to good like get a list of questions and you can go through them, answer what you want, don't answer what you what you don't want, and then um, go from there. But I did I seen your comment, so I, I wanted to let you like hop on and say your piece. But I do want to have like our formal like you know yeah. little live and like get you know spill some tea based on the stuff you were involved in. I won't ask you about nobody else. <laughs> yeah, if I'm not involved in it, I'm not going to speak on it. Like, right. I was involved in the Nick and Hannah stuff because I was there. I was receiving information from a lot of people, not just Nick and Hannah, but from other people who sat on that stage who want to sit there quietly because they care about their image. And that's cool. You can care about your image. Yeah. I'm always just going to be who I am. So, like, either pay- take it or leave it. But I also have Katie here, too. She wants to say hi. I really hi, wanted to hi, hi, Katie. Hi. <laughs> I love your content. Hannah's BFF, her best friend for a while. Her besties. You know, I've been hearing hearing that a lot lately. Biggest thieves. Katie's my best friend. Katie's my best friend. I I mean, can I be your best friend? You guys can be best friends now, but it's like at the time I was like, how long? It's been like two weeks, girl. Relax. People can grow and evolve. It's been a year. People can grow and evolve. And we're not saying that that's where we're at with Hannah. We're not saying that. We're that's just saying, true. we're just Let's saying see. we're, we're working on stuff. Let's see. How, how, how was watching everything back, Katie? It was cool. So actually we did a little, we hosted an event in Baltimore and so we had this whole restaurant. And as soon as the show came on, the audio came on, everybody was like super sucked and like into it. Oh, um, so it's kind of cool to see that people came out for it. Some family and friends too. Um, yeah. I mean, of course you see everything be filmed and then to see it put together, what made it, what didn't, but I thought it was a pretty fair representation. Um, okay. I was so, I was excited to be a part of it. Um, I was kind of a last minute addition. Mm-hmm. So I was thankful to be there to support my friends that were on the stage because, yeah. you know, I, I went through some of it with them. Other parts I watched along with everybody else. So it was kind of a, a unique perspective. And I love Vanessa, her mom. Like we text, we FaceTime. She checks in on me all the time. I, most of the time I'm calling her mom. Yeah. So oh, that I get to I, I thought you were Vanessa Lachey. I was like, she didn't ask y'all the oh, right no, question. No. Yeah, Sorry, my you mom's met- name is- I know. probably got y'all Vanessa. on like an ovulation tracker or something. Yeah, your mom, Vanessa. Days, my mom's about. name is also Vanessa. And yeah. How does mom sister? feel about Rams? I think, does- she's, I think she's just happy that we're not together. Like, yeah. I think she's happy. She hated yeah, seeing me go through what I went through, and it was really difficult. Yeah. Um, I'm not the only one who's ever gone through a crazy breakup like that. So, like, I'm sure everyone has a mom, or most people have moms who like experience like taking yeah. care of their daughter. But yeah, my, I'm like, just, my mom is just like your mom, Marissa. Like, just <laughs> like your mom. I'll be like, can you just? Yeah, <laughs> it's real. And, and honestly, like, we need a mom like Vanessa because she. I I like to give people a lot of grace and a lot of room. And in times when they don't necessarily deserve it. And my mom is not about that. She's like, I'm going to tell you what's up. So I love my mom and I love yeah. that she's real. Yeah. I've got to love mom. Mom's no best. 
You know what I mean? I, I roasted your mom so bad. And I was like, she was right. She was right. We should have listened. Mom always knows. She has room to grow. I mean, she's not perfect. She has some flaws as well. But. I think that's my biggest thing. I just want people to realize, like, we're not just, we're all multifaceted. Like, we all have room to grow and change, and we don't make all the right decisions. And yeah. we don't say all the right things all the time. Right. Absolutely. I do have a question, Marissa. Um, not related to obviously Ricky, you're going to go into it. So, cause when we first were introduced to y'all on the show, they kind of dropped us in the middle, second, third date, whatever. Like, how did you feel about that? Cause I felt like we were slighted cause I like to get the summary of everyone before they meet and before they talk. Like, I just felt like for y'all, they kind of gave y'all the short end of the stick with that. I do wish they showed a little bit more of our emotional connection because it was there. But I think ultimately got the rest of it pretty right. But yeah, like I do wish they showed a little bit more. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know why they do what they do. But that's why I think I'm always just like harping on I, like I'd be up in the comments, my DMs like y'all don't see everything. So and it. Yeah. And I, I don't have control over that. So right. I, I think and it was like, I mean, I, when I comment, I comment from a place of like knowing it's a reality show and it's like, I don't actually right. like, hate these people. It's just like, I'm commenting on what I see on the show, except for like, when stuff in like real life comes out, then I'd be like, oh wait, I kind of hate this person. But in the bad comments, like it does suck to see bad comments. It sucks to see people like, but what I, my thing this whole week has been like, people like to put people on a pedestal and like love 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 them and they also love to tear them down and at the end of the day like it is what it is right like at the like it just is part of it's part of reality tv it's part of being honest. Is, you know, i would say that you were a favorite marissa like i would say that you were definitely one of the only likable people this season there was a lot of villains barely i barely like myself I no know. i mean like, yeah, there's. I, I think like yeah, I, I was likable, and because I was just myself, and not everyone's gonna like me, so that's why it's just like, right. You know? I'm still trying to figure out like what the energy, like what, like what's wrong, like what's what's the energy about, like what's wrong with your energy? I like your energy. Like what are you talking about? Wrong? It, could, no. it could be you a lot. Know. It could be a lot. My ADHD. I could be very hyper. I have the strong H and the ADHD, and like. I say things sometimes without a, a lot of the times without thinking and I move around a lot and that just throws people. And also like, I think people have a hard time with like authenticity at times because they're not used to people being like just completely who they are. And like, you take me at face value. Like when I tell you something, I'm telling you, that's just it. And yeah. a lot of people, there's ulterior motives and like things like that. But for me, it's just like, this is who I am. I love who I love. I love how I love. I talk how I talk. I walk out of like, right. Right. I also Katie, feel like I have a wait, I have a question for Katie. How yes. many times did you tell Nick he was hot at that party? <laughs> I told Nick he was hot zero times. Zero. Okay. I mentioned Nick was cuter in person. Mm. Cuter. Cute. Like that's what, a baby. I, like, that's that's what I thought like I heard. Kitten. Like yeah, like a kitten is cute. Like you don't you like yeah. you don't like I thought I heard he's cuter in person. I thought that's what I heard too. I was like, did she say? Oh, you heard what you heard. You heard yeah, respectfully, respectfully, Hannah has selective amnesia because also in um, Cancun when he was do the duck scene, which was literally not that deep. When the when the woman was like, "Don't get jealous, girl," then she came to y'all and was like, "Oh," and she was like. Oh, don't be jealous, bitch. I said, bitch. Yeah. What a yeah, bitch come yeah. from? If you tell Marissa, like, or a, again, that it could be an edit. You know what I mean? We know how production do. They'll ask you a question and then post your answer to something right. else. But, but he was like, you're just a jealous little bitch. And I'm like, <laughs> she did not say that. She did not say that. Let's like cut it out. She did not say that. How am I to know what was said? I wasn't there. <laughs> True. That's true. Yeah. And neither, yeah, neither were we. I was like, yeah, I just want to know how many times Katie called uh, Nick hot. Because 
hot is not a word I personally use to describe Nick, but um, don't worry, Nick, Nick's reckoning is coming, because don't worry, so Nick's reckoning is coming. I've got some tea in my DMs about this. I, this is the thing. I don't want anyone to get destroyed on this show. I don't want any of the castmates to be destroyed. Personally, I I don't want that. T does not discriminate. You know what I mean. T comes in, and if it's legit, then it's getting spilled. I'm I'm with that. If it's if it's the truth, you know. If it's the truth, that's that's all. If it's the truth, shit, hold me accountable. Like I don't care. I'll always like I'm not perfect. No one's perfect. Yeah, no one's perfect. But you were definitely a favorite. You were a joy to watch this season. Like, Katie, you were great as well. I'm so glad you didn't call Nick hot. Like, that's probably, like, the <laughs> highlight of my night. Like, <laughs> thank, you. Thank, you. And thank, thank you guys so much for uh, for joining. Marissa, I do still want to do a live where we, j- we can just chit-chat. So I hope I didn't get in fun. trouble for this live. <laughs> You might, you know what I mean? I know Netflix hates to see me coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, Listen, know, like, I, didn't, I didn't say any, I didn't spill any tea. You didn't. That yeah. to be spilled. I Honestly, you. at this point, I feel like Netflix's lawyers are the two kids in a suit from um, BoJack Horseman. Whatever that mm-hmm. little character is where they pretend to be an adult. I feel like the NDAs to me just seem like really loose. At some point, it was like we knew all the tea before all the episodes dropped. So I'm just like, at this point, they should have just dropped everything and not, you know, tease us where it's like, oh, coming up next. And then someone on TikTok, this, this, this happened, this happened, no, these people, I saw these people on the street. I'm just like, ah, oh, damn. That's me, I'm someone on TikTok, yeah. <laughs> these comments are so funny. Lemonade, yeah, if you don't know what, what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. Down there. What are you guys- I'm seeing like, where's the energy towards Ranzis? I, like y'all, that was never, it's been a year. Just remember that I just would never, I said everything I had to say in that Glamour article and Nick Vile, like, I, what else y'all want me? I've said what I wanted to say. I'm sure I'll say more later, but. Why kick someone when they're down? Right, he look. He seemed. He seemed down bad. At the re- he was just like hoping that nobody would notice yeah. him there. Their two oh. locks fell out. He was so distraught. Them two was, locks. Is- what am I? What? Listen. After a year, what? What am I looking for at this point? I'm not looking for answers. What happened? Happened. I'm so glad I'm past that. And yeah. like nothing he could say could make up for the shit I went through after that breakup. Like so. What did y'all want me to do? Be like, you're a shit bag? No, like, I'm glad he broke up with me. I hate the way it happened, but I'm glad we didn't work out together. Right, right. And, and some of, I think, yeah, I think like exactly what you said, like he already looked like like a wounded puppy. It almost, if, if trust me, if you would have went in on him, people would be calling you a bully. Like, why Why would you do that to him? They call me a bully no matter what. <laughs> Nick, you know what? If Ramses was on that stage lying, lying about stuff i would have went on off on him but the fact is ramses wasn't doing that but nick was and that's just the matter of fact if it was any it could have been anyone on that stage if hannah was lying about something if kate anybody lied i would have been like what the, what are you lying about well, well we know who was on that stage lying but you know that's that's not your pig not your farm <laughs> i don't know i don't know i don't know if you were lying and i had direct knowledge of the lie i would have said something if i have no direct knowledge i I ain't calling it out because that ain't me but yeah. that's just what it is that's fair yeah so all of you guys saying that she should have had more smoke for rams he looked it. like a wounded dog like he was like battered up there like he just looked he looked pathetic he, looked, yeah, like, he was not well and it's like yeah. if ramses was lying up there and saying crazy shit yes i would have had the smoke for him but that yeah. just wasn't the case and that was never going to be his reaction on stage this is never was he down was he down bad because of like the backlash he's been getting on social media about like his his, I think his it's edit? just i think it's not just the backlash but just like the misperception of people are so quick to judge off of stuff that they don't have full context to now there's some things that you see that it's like yeah that was shitty but there's some things you guys see that like you know like, i think I, I made a comment i i did a whole uh thing about it on my Instagram, like the, the birth control narrative was false right. to an extent, right? Like, so I think it's more like that. And 
I don't think he deserves the hate there. If you all want to hate him for everything else, sure. But um, uh, so you don't think he deserves the hate as far as the birth control comment? Yeah, he doesn't. He yeah, he doesn't deserve the hate on the birth control comment. Um, I was open to birth control. I wasn't open to hormonal birth control. That's missed in that whole conversation. He okay. never asked me to get on birth control, and he would have worn condoms if I had said like. We had that conversation, you guys don't see that, where I'm like, if we can wear condoms, I was like, well, I don't really like want to. And that's on me. Like I'm a yeah. I'm a dumb bitch for that one. Like <laughs> you didn't want to have kids, you know, so like it's yeah. not a perfect situation, but people want a perfect conversation and we were just having a real combo. So Okay. Yeah, and he kind of he I feel like he tried to clear that up on the reunion, but he did he looked sad. And I just think there's so many other like components to you guys' story that I feel like we missed, which we will get into on our live. Yeah. Yeah. Um but yeah, like you guys are gonna be nice to Mercer. I'm gonna have my moderators kick you out. Okay, <laughs> I'm out. I don't. I don't care. You know, let it. Let people have their discourse. And because them... people lo- like right now, people are Team Nick. Like people love Nick because they just don't like Hannah. So I think people are not liking that you were like against Nick. You know. Yeah, I will. I said what I freaking said, and I don't care what people have to say. I know who Nick is. Because I was filming with him and you guys weren't. So if you guys want to be Team Nick, that's okay. And I also be Team Nick. He was not a horrible person. He was not a horrible person. And that's just that. He didn't deserve to be treated that way. And I will always stand. I I said that. Right. And he knows that. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us and hopping on. I saw, I said I was getting on 20 minutes ago, but yeah, we will, um, <laughs> we do want to do our live, but let's just do it before Netflix tells you you can't. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm probably, I'm probably in trouble already. I'm like, let's do it tomorrow. Before, before Netflix is like, you cannot talk to that bitch. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but yeah, I'll DM you. Okay. Bye. Okay. <laughs>